Earth. Fire. Air. Water. The Avatar stands as the beacon of hope, power, and unity. A hundred years of fighting has left the world scarred and divided. But with the Avatar's help, we can get it back on the right path. But among these legendary figures, who is the strongest? Hello and welcome to Mindbursters. Today, we're ranking the most powerful avatars of all time. Stay tuned, because you might be surprised by who takes the top spot. I'm ready. Beginning this list at number 8 is Avatar Sido. Avatar Sido stands out among avatars, not due to lack of information but because he largely ignored his role. Instead of embracing his duties, he chose to work with the government. Unlike many avatars, Sido believed in helping people through peaceful means rather than combat. Though the series doesn't go into great detail about Sido's exploits, his impact is memorable. He's notably the first character seen using lava bending, and he even lava bends four volcanoes at once. At number 7 we have Avatar Wan, the first of his kind, who set the precedent for all avatars to come. My name is Wan, and I will show you how I became the first avatar. Born in a time of humans and spirits living in separate realms, Wan's story is one of unity and perseverance. Thanks. So, what did you do to that hunter? Spirits are able to take over a human body for a short time. If I stayed in there any longer, I would have killed him. Which I did consider. After separating the spirit of light, Rava, from her dark counterpart Vatu, Wan fused with Rava to prevent eternal chaos. This act created the Avatar Cycle, ensuring the balance of the world through reincarnation. The only way for me to give you the other element is to pass through your body and combine our energies. I'm ready. Wan had a unique and deep connection to the elements, being the first person to use fire as an extension of his body. He created clouds to fly on instead of using a glider. These feats were unmatched by any other bender. Additionally, Wan was incredibly agile, fast, and light-footed, even without using airbending. He faced many challenges, including powerful spirits like Vatu. Rava! The only way to win is together! It's incredible that he defeated Vatu even before mastering the Avatar state. As the first Avatar, Wan didn't have the wisdom of past Avatars to guide him. While those who followed could learn from the experiences of their previous incarnations, Wan had to figure everything out on his own. The idea of the Avatar was entirely new, and bending was not well understood in his time. This meant Wan had to be very innovative to succeed. What's this harmonic thing Vatu was talking about? Harmonic convergence. That is when Vatu and I must battle for the fate of the world. Wan's legacy is immense, establishing the very foundation of the Avatar's role as a bridge between worlds. This is my mission to use Rava's light spirit to guide the world toward peace. Coming in at number six is Avatar Kurok. I am Avatar Kurok. When I was young, I was always a go with the flow kind of avatar. Kurok was known for his laid back attitude and tragic story. His era was kind of peaceful, which allowed him to focus on personal pursuits rather than political conflicts. However, this peace came at a great personal cost. Kurok faced relentless spiritual battles most notably losing his beloved fiancée to Ko, the face stealer. It was my fault. If I had been more attentive and more active, I could have saved her. Father Glowworm was one of the most powerful spirits, second only to Rava and Vatu. Yet Kuruk hit him with a strike so powerful that it nearly tore apart the boundary between the human and spirit worlds. Despite the hardships he faced, Kuruk's legacy lives on, teaching future avatars the importance of balance and the consequences of neglecting their duties. Number five goes to Avatar Roku. It is our honor to serve you, Avatar Roku. One of Roku's most notable feats was his attempt to stop a volcano from erupting on his home island. When Roku became the Avatar, the world was mostly peaceful. We should share this prosperity with the rest of the world. 
In our hands is the most successful empire in history. It's time we expanded it. No, the four nations are meant to be just that. Four. He was a powerful bender, and one of the last to learn all four elements the traditional way. My earthbending master said was uncompromising. Of course, with his demise marked the beginning of a completely different story. Don't do this, Susan. Don't challenge me. The Fire Nation began a war and committed genocide against the Air Nomads. <gasps> Firebenders? They were here? Avatar Roku could have prevented this, and very well should have. Twenty-five years later, Fire Lord Sozin had a chance to save Roku from a volcanic disaster, but chose to let him die, allowing his so-called plan to share the Fire Nation's power begin. Without you, all my plans are suddenly possible. Roku's mistake was that he gave his friend one last chance, which led to his own downfall. I'm sparing you, Sozin. I'm letting you go in the name of our past friendship. But I warn you, even a single step out of line will result in your permanent after his death, Roku's spirit guided Aang, starting at the Fire Temple on Crescent Island. Avatar Roku? His story highlights the challenges of loyalty and responsibility. Nice one, Sozin. You were friends with Fire Lord Sozin? Back then, he was just Prince Sozin. And he was my best friend. Next on our list is Avatar Yang Chen. I am Avatar Yang Chen, young airbender. Avatar Yang Chen. The monks always taught me that all life is sacred, even the life of the tiniest spider fly caught in its own web. Yes, all life is sacred. I know, I'm even a vegetarian. Yang Chen was known as one of the greatest leaders in the world, who placed her avatar duties above her personal life. She was highly respected and loved, almost like a deity, because she was kind and compassionate. I know that you are a gentle spirit, and the monks have taught you well. But this isn't about you. This is about the world. Unlike Avatar Aang, Yang Chen didn't let the pacifist beliefs of the Air Nomads affect her decisions about the Four Nations. She was proactive and believed in being directly involved to prevent conflicts and to keep balance. Many great and wise Air Nomads have detached themselves and achieved spiritual enlightenment. But the Avatar can never do it because your sole duty is to the world. Yang Chen's excellent airbending skills were unmatched. She could control the weather and split waves with powerful wind slices, staying in the air for long periods. She was caring, but could still be tough. She fought General Old Iron all night, which left a town in ruins. By focusing too much on humans and neglecting the spirits, Yang Chen created major issues in the spirit world that Avatar Kuruk had to address constantly. Despite this, she managed to prevent a war from starting, and her efforts kept the peace for years after her death. Here is my wisdom for you. Selfless duty calls you to sacrifice your own spiritual needs and do whatever it takes to protect the world. Sliding into number three, we have Avatar Kiyoshi. Whether or not we aim to spark debate, Avatar Kiyoshi stands out as a top contender for the title of the most exceptional Avatar. Her journey from an anonymous orphan on the harsh streets to a formidable Avatar is compelling. Kiyoshi's tough childhood and involvement in a war during her early years shaped her strong and sometimes ruthless nature. I killed Chin the Conqueror. Kiyoshi achieved many remarkable feats. She mastered all the elements and introduced glass bending, a new style not seen in the series. One of her greatest accomplishments was defeating Chin the Conqueror, a warlord who tried to take over the Earth Kingdom. Using earth and air bending, Kiyoshi moved her island hundreds of miles away from the mainland. At just 16, she demonstrated lava bending, froze hearts with water bending, and stood over seven feet tall, making her the tallest avatar. Her feet must have been enormous. 
the biggest of any avatar. Kyoshi wasn't always well-liked due to her no-nonsense approach and decisive actions, but her successes were undeniable. Her founding of the Kyoshi Warriors and Dai Li agents emphasized her belief in justice and empowerment. I offer you this wisdom, Aang. Only justice will bring peace. I knew I shouldn't have asked Kyoshi. Kyoshi's long life allowed her to make a lasting impact, cementing her as one of the most influential avatars. There she is, girls. Me in a past life. Ooh. You were pretty. Coming in at number two is Avatar Aang. Avatar Aang, who ended the Hundred Year War, was a beloved hero known for his courage, compassion, and personal growth. Please, the real hero is the Avatar. At just 12, Aang was already a master airbender before he discovered he was the Avatar. <laughs> After flying into a storm and being plunged into the sea, he entered the Avatar state and survived being frozen in ice for a hundred years. He must have created a really strong iceberg to stay alive that long. <laughs> Aang's occasional silliness might make some people underestimate him, especially since he always tried hard to avoid unnecessary conflicts. I'm not your enemy! I won't fight you! However, he repeatedly demonstrated his immense power and natural talent for bending and spiritual connection, taking his role as the bridge between the human and the spirit world very seriously. <laughs> Aang's compassion and spiritual strength helped him navigate some of the toughest times in history. A great danger awaits you at the temple. I can help you face the threat, but only if you are ready. I'm ready. He was also the first avatar to learn and use energy bending. You have to remember, it wasn't totally an easy thing to do because the bender's spirit had to be completely incorruptible, meaning that Aang's spiritual strength was as crucial as his physical power in his final fight. What did you do to me? I took away your firebending. You can't use it to hurt or threaten anyone else ever again. Throughout the series, he was urged to abandon his respect for all life to defeat the Fire Lord. And the worst father in the history of fathers. But he's still a human being. You're going to defend him? No, I agree with you. Fire Lord Ozai is a horrible person, and the world would probably be better off without him. But there's gotta be another way. Yet, his refusal to give up his pacifist beliefs showcased his unique blend of power and mercy. I should count myself lucky. The new Fire Lord has graced me with his presence in my lowly prison cell. You should count yourself lucky that the Avatar spared your life. Aang's legacy goes beyond battle. He founded Republic City together with Fire Lord Zuko, promoting unity among nations. Avatar Aang and Fire Lord Zuko transformed the Fire Nation colonies into the United Republic of Nations a society where benders and non-benders from all over the world could live and thrive together in peace and harmony. His balance of strength and empathy defines him as a truly powerful avatar. Finally, at number one, we have Avatar Korra. Korra, please come in here. I'm the avatar, you gotta deal with it. Korra stands out as the most naturally talented of all avatars. Who do you think you are? Why don't you come and find out? By the age of four, she had already mastered three of the four elements, an accomplishment that took other avatars years to achieve. This is truly impressive, especially considering she did this as a child. She's strong. Though Korra initially struggled with airbending because it was so different from her other bending experiences, she eventually succeeded and even became the first avatar to learn metal bending. <laughs> 
Born during a time of rapid industrial growth, Korra faced a series of formidable enemies, each threatening the world's stability. Her battles against Amon's anti-bending revolution, Zahir's anarchist philosophy, and Kuvira's militaristic dominance tested her to the core. She managed to confront and purify dark spirits and had Rava at her peak, which was very different from her past lives. Beyond physical confrontations, Korra's journey through trauma and self-discovery reshaped the Avatar's role in a rapidly changing world. Her ability to adapt and evolve marks her as a symbol of strength and innovation. Uh, what did you say to her exactly? From Karuk's battles with spirits to Korra's modern-day issues, each avatar had their own strengths and challenges. Mm. I'm sorry. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. But you were right. And if firebenders found this temple, that means they found the other ones too. I really am the last airbender. Ranking them is difficult because their power isn't just about bending skills, but also their impact on the world and their personal journeys. What if Avatar Wan made a mistake when he closed the portals? What if humans and spirits weren't meant to live apart? If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to comment below. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay geeky. I learned there was another way to defeat him and restore balance. I took his bending away. Wow, who taught you that? A giant lion turtle. You have the craziest adventures when you disappear.